Welcome to Soul Flow TV again everybody, it's your host with the most. Check this out, we're going to try a different angle today and see if it works for us, right? Not only that, see the story here? So I can know, so I don't lie, I may have to tell, right? Now, this, this fake news thing is getting out of hand, okay? And as bad as Alkaline is, I know so the artists sing about uh, body wash and brata, but I don't believe the story for once. Now, what I want people to start doing is I want you the viewers to start holding these sites accountable stop going all over the internet and gathering information from all these fake sites and then believing that they're real a couple of people sent me this this morning right so them say so flow TV look here the youth come out a long time may I tell us about the man and he want to come out see that he finally come out to some I may be wrong but I highly friggin doubt it. Now, netlivemedia.com. Me wanna go over netlivemedia.com if this news is. Wanna hear my phone? A some message come in. This is how this is how heavily I get notified right here by subscribers, and I can bet right now is either the song Prison Warder, which Alkali just dropped, which I am going to review right after this. Or it's about this story right here. So netlivemedia.com. See there? Netlivemedia.com. Wanna go over there and wanna freak them up with some bad comments. Okay? I met because they're a part of the problem. This story says, must read. Dancehall artist Alkaline confesses about being bisexual. Not only did they do the story upon the youth in a man, them give a whole friggin' they they went in. Check it. If you read this, you would believe that it was actually true. It says, <clears throat> Alkaline took a major step in life ahead of the new year. The DJ came out as bisexual today, January 27th, 2017, in an effort to help others struggling with their identity. So, did I miss something? Growing up, I've always felt indifferent about my sexuality and being attracted to one sex. And today, I would like to openly come out to my fans. I would like to openly come out to my fans. I do recognize myself as a bisexual male and do, have, do and have always openly supported the gay community and will keep doing so in 2017. Hashtag thank you. Hashtag vendetta. What, what says you? Soflo TV audience. So the like, comment, share, subscribe. Leave your comment in the comment section below. What says you? What I'm trying to do right now is burn out these fake news people. And I've been thinking because I've seen a few reputable bloggers, vloggers that have come on and talked about it. I'm going to fuck up the vlogmosphere. You understand? And it, 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 I don't know. They've came on and they've spoken about it. Something has to be done about it. And it's the people that have to do something about it. You, you have to do something about it. You have to go over to these sites. I met them people here and know, said, we know that you are delivering fake news. Right? The story went on to say, The big revelation from Alkaline is another shocker in his young career. The idea of an openly gay or bisexual male in the mainstream dancehall world seems like an impossibility in the past. The hypermasculinity and often blatant homophobia in dancehall has made it difficult. So, <clears throat> one, the my crucified dancehall artist right now, I said the man came out admittedly being bisexual, which I highly doubt that Alkaline did. And two, they're flinging dancehall under the bus, right? Because from when me not hear no dancehall artists are talk about no gay nothing. So why bring this up now? The hypermasculinity and often blatant homophobia in dancehall has made it difficult. Bartley began recording at the age of 16. And using the stage name Alkaline became popular in Jamaica in 2013 with a series of popular singles. His live shows have sometimes been controversial. 
In March of 2015, he was hit by a bottle during a show in Florida. In February of 2016, he was hit in the head by a bottle while on stage in St. Lucia. Responded by throwing the bottle back at the offender. He became known for his distinctive look with his bleached skin, blonde dreadlocks, and apparently tattooed eyeballs, which prompted others to follow suit, with Brooklyn rapper Mace being hospitalized after his eye became infected. It later on emerged that Alkaline achieved the look, eye look by using contact lenses. Now, <clears throat> said this already, I'm going to say this again. The name of this site that's delivering this fake news is netlivemedia.com. I'm going to go over to netlivemedia.com and freak them up if this story is not true. Go and do your own investigation now. Go and do your own investigation. But remember, oh, it's, uh, remember, SoFlo TV said at first that this is fake news. I don't believe it for one second that Alkaline came out being no damn bisexual. But, stay tuned, because what he did do was he did release this banging ass song that he's doing something in the song that I said a long time ago that he should have done. In my walking in the direction where me I say him should I walk in You understand what me I say? I'm not saying that he should listen to me, but I'm saying he's walking in that direction, which means he's heading for that greatness that I see him stepping into. So... Well, stay tuned. The one named Water, Prison Water, something like that. We're going to review that. I want to go frig up these fake sites that are giving you fake news. It's SoFlo TV, man. Like, comment, share, subscribe. I'm up out of here. Peace.